Hello, I'm Michael Dawson, IBM's community lead for Node.js. Today I'm excited to be able to talk to you about a number of the things we've been doing within the community and within the IBM itself. You may already be aware of our involvement in the Node.js and V8 communities, where we have been contributing since 2014 to help ensure that Node.js is ready for the enterprise. We have 10 core collaborators who contribute, review, and land pull requests. We focused on key areas for the enterprise. These include the long-term support working group to achieve stable and predictable releases, the post-mortem working group to build tools like LL Node and Node Report to help investigate complex issues, the benchmarking work group to help work towards maximizing your investment in hardware, as well as the security working group to help implement and define processes, internationalization to help you support customers around the world, as well as the build working group to achieve broad platform support, including support for AIX, Power Linux, and Z systems. This work, in addition, we also help support LibUV, most recently with some contributions to enhance monitoring. These contributions complement our more general involvement in the community with over 2,300 commits to the core from our team. It's great fun to work with all the community members and over the next few days, we have a number of talks that go into more detail into some of those efforts, like the NEPI and the work that's going on in the Build Working Group. We look forward to seeing you there. We're also involved in the greater ecosystem, where we contribute to open source frameworks like Loopback.io that's built on Express and helps you build APIs, as well as the AppMetrics open source monitoring framework. With all the great work that the community has put into the Node.js runtime over the last few years, Node.js is now undoubtedly a production-ready runtime. It's used by ADP, PayPal, Netflix, and many more. We also use it extensively within IBM. We bundled it into many of our, our products. We use it to build many of our cloud services. And we even use it to provide the whole of the IBM cloud, the, the whole of the user interface for the IBM cloud. Having said that, building modern, Cloud-native applications at scale takes more than a good runtime. It takes knowledge of key technologies, best practices, along with good coding and language skills to be able to build an application that you can easily deploy, scale, and monitor in production. As developers, though, we most often want to focus on our application code, not integrating with the platform around it. This is particularly true given the large number of deployment options that are available to us today. IBM has been working on some tools that help simplify the build, deploy, and monitor components of good production application. These tools let you focus on your application code without having to worry about the production deployment intricacies. Over the next few minutes, I'm going to help you experience some of these tools in action. Starting with Create, we've recently open sourced a Yeoman generator that builds Node.js applications that are ready for deployment to production. This generator is based on earlier work that we've been doing within IBM, and what you'll say is that over the next little while, we're going to pull more and more of the functionality over into the open source version. The tool starts by asking a few simple questions and then generating all the files that you need to deploy into the different production environments. It also includes a package.json so that you can stall test, and debug locally. Taking a quick look at the generated files, as I mentioned, it generates a package.json for use locally, as well as two Docker files, one with additional development dependencies and one for deployment to production. It also builds a cli.config file that you can deploy to the, use to deploy to the IBM Cloud with the bxdev command, as well as a standard Kubernetes Helm chart that you can use to deploy to Kubernetes environments. Finally, it also provides you with a manifest at YML that you, that you can use to deploy to Cloud Foundry environments. By default, we also include a Kubernetes liveness endpoint, which you can see by starting up the application and taking a quick, uh, going to the, the health monitoring endpoint. As you can see, the generated applications come ready for deployment to Kubernetes and Cloud Foundry. These, gen these applications can easily be deployed to the IBM Cloud through the bxdev deploy command, run on premise, or deployed to other clouds that support these standards. For example, we can deploy to Kubernetes using the IBM 
the, the IBM Cloud Developer Tools or our, our Visual Studio plugin. In this example, we simply add in the, the, the deployment specifics to the previously generated files and then use the BX dev command to deploy the application into production. Once the application is up and running, we can then easily flip over to the user interface to take a quick look at and make sure that the application come up as, came up as expected. It's important to note that if you have pre-existing applications, you can still use these deployment tools using the enable command. Once your application is up and running, you're going to be able to want to monitor its health. We contribute to the open source app metrics and node report projects to help build a free and open source set of tools for monitoring your application. The generators we showed you earlier bundle in support for these projects by default. In addition, because we know that Prometheus is one of the key monitoring technologies in the Kubernetes environment, we also, by default, bundle in a Kubernetes endpoint. As an example, once we, the application is up and running, we can open up the AppMetrics dashboard and see key system metrics like CPU and memory usage, as well as key apl apl application metrics like HTTP responsiveness and event loop timing. From the API, from the user interface, we can also request a node report. A node report is a snapshot of the key state of the application, including things like a Java stack, uh, including a stack trace, summary of the event loop information, memory information, and much, much more. If you prefer a more graphical user interface or don't want to install the tools locally, the good news is that the same capability is also available through the IBM App Cloud service. Using the IBM App Cloud service, you can use the cloud-hosted user interface to generate the same applications, and it even optionally includes the, the, the capability to scaffold in IBM Cloud services and build DevOps pipelines for deployment to the IBM Cloud. Two things we should see coming to the open source generator soon. Of course, once the application is generated, you can easily download the files and work with them as before. As you can see from what I've shown you, about our work in the community, our work on tools to ensure developer efficiency and production success. IBM has a depth of knowledge and expertise in building and deploying Node.js applications. To date, our customers have, been, customers have been able to leverage this when running our bundled applications like API Connect and when running in the IBM Cloud. We've been providing this support since 2013. Today, I'm happy to let you know that we plan to offer a Node.js support offering that will let you work with IBM as a trusted partner when deploying all types of applications. In addition, for an added level of comfort, you can choose to use the IBM SDK for Node.js. The advantage of using the IBM SDK for Node.js is that we've done additional vulnerability scans, license checks, as well as bundled in key tools. We look forward to working with you. More information about our work in the community, our work on tools to help ensure developer efficiency and production success, as well as the support offering is available in our booth. We hope to see you there. Thank you very much for listening to me, and I hope to be able to talk to you further over the next few days of the conference.